Cincinnati's certified most accurate forecast. Well, the rain and storms held off long enough. You could get all those Easter egg hunts in the Easter service. Hopefully a nice meal this afternoon. Of course, now we're seeing those downpours. Now, just a few hours ago, we had a line of powerful storms in Indiana. Now we have really just a blob of heavy rain, and there's only one area where I still have a few concerns, and that'd be out around Adams County, portions of Highland County, even through Brown and Mason counties. These are the zones that are still on the mild side of things and may see may see a little severe weather as these storms roll on through. Currently, we're not seeing any. We don't have any warnings across the tri-state. Just a few intense thunderstorms. Heavy downpours indicated here by the red, and you can see all those little squiggly lines. Those are all lightning indicators. So plenty of lightning around New Vienna, Samantha, Hillsboro, and the storm will continue to head off to the north. Lees Creek, Leesburg, as well as Greenfield are going to get hit here about in the next 15 minutes. Heading a little farther south, Georgetown seeing some lightning as well as heavy rain. All of that is heading northward towards Lake Winoka. We're also seeing some more heavy rain through Augusta and now over around Moranburg. As you take a look at the 275 loop, heavy rain building into downtown Cincinnati, Delhi, a little bit of lightning popping up there, Fort Mitchell, Highland Heights, all of this heading off to the north and east. So Blue Ash, Milford, Newtown, you're all going to see some pockets of heavy rain. Again, nothing severe, just perhaps some small hail, some gusty winds from time to time, and again, a little bit of lightning here too. Zooming out, things are starting to quiet down, especially for Butler, Warren, and Clinton counties, but the rain will continue for the next few hours. The lightning, a few rumbles here, a couple flashes there, but if you were worried about going to bed earlier, now for the majority of the tri-state, with the exception of those counties I mentioned earlier, I think we're in good shape. By one o'clock, we're all going to be in decent shape, and then the clouds move in, the showers start grinding to a halt, and our severe weather threat, which is already fairly minimal, continues to fall off, meaning Past one o'clock in the morning, the storms will end. No severe weather threat. The only thing we have to deal with then are the falling temperatures. Most of us still in the 60s, Hillsboro, Maysville, Batavia, but the 50s knocking on our door in southeast Indiana, and we're all going to fall through the 50s and eventually into the 40s by tomorrow morning. So you can see that rain coming down, occasionally a flash of light in the distance there from that lightning. Winds out of the west at 20 miles an hour. That's the difference maker. Southerly winds bringing up that mild there. Westerly winds now ushering in the colder stuff down to 57 degrees at the airport. Our cold front, that's what's moving through. Eventually, we're going to see what's on the other side of this. Temperatures in the 40s, a whole lot of cloud cover for your Monday, but it doesn't last very long. In fact, a nice improvement by Tuesday and Wednesday. So as far as tomorrow's forecast goes, still wishing you a happy Easter here on this Sunday. But as for Monday, 46 degrees to start, cloudy skies by the afternoon. We'll see a little bit of sunshine later in the afternoon. Temperatures, well, we'll be lucky to crack 54 degrees. Tonight, 46, rain, showers, and storms. It looks like that strong element is beginning to fall apart, so good news. Tomorrow morning, just some lingering showers very early. Most of us just waking up to some cloud cover. By the afternoon, some sunshine, a high of 54 degrees. And your seven-day forecast, here we go on the seesaw. 63 degrees Tuesday, back up into the 70s as we head into Wednesday. Thursday, more showers, perhaps some thunderstorms possible, and that's what's going to cool us back into the 50s on Friday. Now, unlike Tuesday and Wednesday, where temperatures warm up, it looks like as we head through next weekend, temperatures will go down. So as far as opening day is concerned, and I've had a lot of tweets and posts on Facebook about it, it does look like it's going to be on the chillier side of things. Don't want to throw anything out there just yet, but temperatures in the 40s, we may be lucky, Curtis, lucky wow. to 